Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a dynamic role level security pattern, which is quite common in scenarios that you want uh, a not equal or not include, except or include, uh, except or exclude. Basically, you want to apply rules like that. Like, for example, this role has access to everything but UK or has access to everything but Canada. How you can do that in a dynamic role level security? That is the subject of this video. It would be really a long video if I want to explain both dynamic role level security basics and this pattern specifically in one video. So I just uh, quickly go over what the dynamic role level security is. Uh, role level security means that you filter the content of your report based on who uh, see the report. So you create some kind of security. Dynamic role level security means that you apply this based on the logged in user and you have some ways in your model that you have uh, said that this user has access to this part of data. Uh, and I have created some videos about that. Make sure to go and check it. Uh, now, uh, this is the type of data model that I've got. I've got a sales model here. Uh, you can download the file from my blog address down in the description below. I have a sales territory table and the reseller sales table. They filter each other and I have a visualization like these two. <clears throat> Don't worry about the rest for now. These two are uh, showing sales by different countries in two different ways. One of them is by region, another is by country itself. And this is the total sales. Now, uh, the scenario is that we want to have some roles uh, that have access, for example, to everything but Canada, everything but United States, everything but United Kingdom. Uh, we want to have rules like that or everything but Germany and France together, things like that, right? Uh, you can define static role level security and write this in a static role level security. But problem of a static role level security is that then you, uh, for every change, you need to open file, apply the change, save it, publish it. Uh, versus if you do it in a dynamic role level security, you normally store these rules in a separate data source. Here I have an Excel file that I have these rules in it. So here I say, for example, this is the accept rule, sales territory country accept. So this is saying that uh, this means accept United States, accept United Kingdom, accept Germany, accept France. And these are the uh, associated with some profiles. So here I can call this, this is a profile, everything but USA, everything but UK, everything but Europe. This is how they are related to each other, one to many relationship. On the other hand side, I have a table of users with their Power BI emails and a user profile table, which is basically an association, a many to many table between user table and the profile table. So this ends up with a model like this in the role level security side. I have the user table, the profile table. They have one to many relationship both into the user profile table. This is how we have the many to many scenario. And the profile table filters the sales territory country except. Uh, I highly recommend you to have a look at my video and article about how to implement dynamic role level security with many to many situations. I'm not going to ex explain that details of that. In a scenario like this, we need to apply filter in the user table and apply filter in the profile table because the profile table doesn't get filtered by the user table because of the direction of relationship here, right? So we need to apply filter on profile table as well. However, there is another part of this security complication, and that is how we filter the sales table, this sales territory table, by the values of this table. Normally in Power BI, when you want to filter one uh, table by the other, other table, you create a relationship between those. However, this uh, can be tricky when we want to create this based on an accept rule. Accept rule means that whatever country or value I've got here, I want the other table to not have it. If you create a relationship, you cannot say this is a not relationship. This would be including that. So if I create a relationship between this and the sales territory table, that means 
if here I have USA as a result over there, I would have USA because it is including. What I want is excluding. So that means I will not create a relationship between these two. This is a very important um, thing about this pattern. You should not have a relationship between your RLS table and your actual data rows tables. As you see, these are two separate models inside one big model. I have my sales model, RLS model. They are not related to each other. There is no relationship between those. So if there is no relationship, then how do I implement this filtering? Well, with DAX, of course. Uh, DAX, you can write a filter with DAX saying that whatever value is you got here, return everything from here that is not in that list. So my role here looks like this. I have one role, dynamic role level security means that you need only one role, not more than that. I have one role with three different filters. Uh, the filter on the user table that is only saying that this user principal name matches the email address. That is the basic of dynamic role level security. The profile table that is for uh, making sure that our profile table also gets filtered. And the last one is dim sales territory, which has a little bit longer DAX expression. I'll explain that very briefly. Um, uh, we have a variable profile IDs that based on the logged in user, we identify what profile this user belongs to. So that would be all the profiles because it might be multiple profiles. Then based on those profiles, we'll search into the sales territory country accept table and find all countries that we need to filter out. So this would be another variable that will give us list of all countries based on the filtered result from the previous variable. And then the final output here would be, I want all sales territory countries that not in, because we don't have not in in that way, we should say in and then not around it, or there are a few other ways as well. So when this is not in that final list. Um, the DAX expression, everything is in my blog article, uh, again, down in the description below, you'll find the link. And here is the result. So um, before I show you what it looks like, I have the current user logged in here. This is a table of all profiles. This is a table of all countries that has to be excluded. Now, if I switch it to the current user, so I say view as this role, basically in dynamic role level security, you'll have everyone as part of this role when they log in. Um, I'm that user, I have two profiles everything but Europe, everything but US, and that means these three countries should be excluded. And as you see in my reports, everything is excluded uh, from those three countries. I see Australia, United Kingdom, Canada, but nothing from France, Germany, or United States. If someone comes with another role, that would all work uh, perfectly for them. Uh, this way, you implemented a not in rule in a dynamic rollable security pattern and the uh, uh, most important part of it is that do not create relationship use dax filters instead if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai thank you